a quick screencast on one of my favorite topics in AutoCAD is line types. Every year I go out and I look for new line types and we get the same old line types. A couple of them with shapes and maybe a few with fonts, a gas line and so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do for you today is this will be part one of a two-part, maybe three-part series of screencasts. I'm going to show you how to create a line type with a text, with a font. So the first thing we want to do is I drew a line actually 1.5 inches in length and I'm going to go out to the home tab on the ribbon and show you with the measure tab for my distance that it actually is 1.5 inches in length. And I use 1.5 because you can use any length you want. It's a little longer than one and it sort of gives a good distance. So it's 1.5 in length. So now what we want to do is the first thing we want to do is create a unique style in our drawing. If you use standard aerial or something that another company might change the height then you'll have a problem. So we're going to type style at the command prompt. We're going to hit new. We'll leave it at aerial for now. And we'll type line types and hit OK. So now we have a style name line types. We're going to set it current. Zero height. We're not going to make it annotative because it's a line type and hit close. So now what we want to do is place a piece of text. What I'm going to show you how to do is create every letter of the alphabet very quickly. So we're going to type D text. We don't want to use M text. It will not recognize the character. I'm going to type MC for middle center, and I'm going to hit the midpoint of my line. I'm going to hit enter for the height of point 0.1. We're going to leave it at 1, rotation angle 0, and now we'll type A because that'll be our first line. We'll say it's like an airflow line. And hit enter and be done. So now what I want to do is trim. I can easily trim by selecting the text and trimming, but I'm going to draw a circle on the midpoint just for visual purposes and draw like a 0.15 to give it a little bit more than the 0.1 font and then I'll trim and then I'll erase. So now we have what I want to be my line type. Now you can tighten those lines and I'll explain to you what I'll explain to you what these distances are in here because there's distances from here to here and then the font and then there and then there and we'll get into that in just a little bit. So we have our line so up on the home tab on the ribbon there's an easy, there's a command up in here and you go over to the home tab and then we're going to move over to express tools and underneath tools, I'm going to pin it. Make line type, make shape. We don't want to create a shape right now. We're going to use a font. We're going to try to keep it easy. But what this will do is it'll enable us to make the line type and then extract the file and then copy. Now I could copy this 26 times and do A, B, C, D, E, F, G, but there's an easier way. So we're going to do make line type. And what AutoCAD's going to do, it's going to throw me out, where do I want my text file? This LIN file is a text file. So I threw it in my folder with my drawing, and I'm going to save it. Now it's going to ask me the name. Now keep in mind, the name has to be continuous. If you put a space, so it'll be my new line. Lines. My new lines. That's what it's going to say, and I'll show you in a minute. Enter the description, airflow line. starting point. Okay, I'm going to hold my shift key down, use object snaps. I'm going to hit end point. Specify the end point of the, of the line. End point. Now I have to select the objects. One, two, three. Done. It says it was loaded and created. Let's pull this off the pen. Now let's see what our line type looks like. So if I draw a line, same distance again, I'll go 1.5, hit enter, but I'll just go on the properties palette. And I'll say line type, and you'll see my new line is right there at 1.5. So it looks pretty good. I mean, I have to stretch it out because AutoCAD's looking at the starting and ending definition. So if I, I do it like that, you'll get the distances between the lines. So now let's look at how to make that a little bit different. You can change the values there. So let's look at what the line type file is. So I'm going to right click over here. A little trick, I'm going to open my file location. There's my text file. I'm going to double click it. And I have it set to, to, to bring up a notepad. So what, what goes on here is it says my new lines. And I can hit an enter. This is not going to say anything. So A, 0.6, negative 1. A is the font. Line types is my font style. Y, S, 0, and then this and 0.6. So what does all this mean? This is where we want to get our line type right. I'm going to X out of here. I don't need to save it right now, and I'm going to show you a quick PowerPoint. And I'm going to view from the current slide, and I'm going to show you what this does. So A 
is telling AutoCAD, put the pen down, put the pen down, draw 0.5 units, lift it up 0.12, A is the alignment, tells AutoCAD to draw the line 0.5 units, lift the pen up and has the space. That's that space where that font. And now everything in the brackets here is controls controls that letter. A is the letter, line types is the text style, S is the height that you've defined it, R rotation, the X offset, the Y offset, and then the U is the upright variable. Back in 2011, there's a variable that controls whether it's upright or not. So we'll go through line types, the name of the style, scale of the font, the rotation, X off the Y offset, and then the upright value. So let me go back to auto, and we have our line there. So now we have to make sure it's what we really want. So let's go back out to our file, remembering what we just showed. So I'm going to open my file location to my line. So that looked pretty good, but let's make this more of a, a a continuous number we don't want we want something we can work with. so we're going to put the pen down 0.6 units we'll go 0.12 and then a line types the y offset it doesn't have an x offset because we're we're in continuous with the line the scales 0.1 we're going to leave it at that and the upright is zero and then we'll do this as 0.2 and then 0.6 again we're going to save it we're going to go back to our drawing, and then we're going to line type, and we're going to reload. I can erase my objects now. I'm going to type line type. I'm going to load it again. I need to load that file one more time just because it's going to reload the definition since I modified it. There's it, my line types, airflow line. Hit OK. Reload the selected line types, and hit OK. And see how it looks on there? And then I'm going to draw a line. Actually, I'll change the line type for the line to that one, and I'll draw a line. And you'll see that it's the A. Let's zoom out a little bit. So that looks pretty good. Let's draw a circle. You see how the upright variable, you notice how the variable stays upright. So I like that. I like that. That's a good a good suggestion, a good, a good way to do that. So how do we get next 26? Let's do A, B, C, D, and E. I'm going to show you how easy that is. I'm going to right-click my lines again. I'm going to open the file location, the my line type file. So I've got this airflow line here. I'm going to hit enter. So what I need to do is actually, I'm going to hit enter right up in here, and I'll do this. I'm going to right click, I'm going to copy, I'm going to hit a space, I'm going to paste, I'm going to paste, I'm going to paste, I'm going to paste. So now it's a matter of instead of me going, I want consistency. So A, airflow line, so I'm just going to change these, B, now, and then B in here. Remember, I have to leave that airflow line C. We'll just call it C flow. B, e, B, e, B, e, E flow. So what's going on in here is this is the name of the line type. So we, you know, we do have to kind of give it a different name. So this is this is the air one. This is the B, C, D, and then E. So that's all you need to do. And then normally up on the top here is, I'll do a few of these semicolons, is my custom line type file. So AutoCAD doesn't read it. And hit X, hit Save, and you're good. That was pretty easy. So I'm going to X out of here, and now we're going to draw four lines. We still have that air one there. We'll just copy it a bunch of times. A, B, C, D, E. Is that what we said? So let's stretch those. Because I really want to see the functionality of the line type. So there we go. And I want to see the consistency. So now I have to load my line types again. Same file and same file. So we're going to go with my lines and we're going to load it. You see all the new lines in there? You have to give different names, otherwise it looks the same. I'm going to right-click, select all, hit OK, and all my new lines are loaded. Now, how do I know this works? Well, they're in my drawing. If I type line type, you can see all the new lines are in there. You can go through, but you can see how quickly I made five line types. So how do we check that? I'm just going to use the properties palette, and we'll change it to B. i got to remember the first one was the, my B. P, and then air is the A flow one. I'm going to go down here to C. I'm going to go down here to E. 
And last but not least, P. So as you can see on this, it's pretty effective and pretty handy. So what you can do now that you've got the distances, once you get, get all of these distances the way you need them to be, then you can create your line types. And now what you've done is you've created consistency. Now you can use the might make line type command. Say you wanted to make one with more than one letter, you have to change the distance. One thing you need to keep in mind, if you go on the home tab and up on the ribbon, if you do, I mean on express tools, if you do use the make line type command and you, you hit save to this one, it will append that file. It's not going to delete it. So even though you select it and I hit save, it says you want to replace it, go ahead and hit yes. It's not going to do anything. It's going to add it to the end of your file. So this is part one. And what I want you to look forward to is now you can create, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to open my file location. I love that tip. Double click that. Now you can just copy and paste these for any any letter in the alphabet so that is part one you should be able to do all 26 letters in a matter of no time and have your line type stat the keys are a unique style name line types or something that's not going to interfere because if I all of a sudden gave that style a height it's going to affect the, the display of my line type I can always go here and change my line type scale here to make things look a little different on drawings so thank you very much. That is part one of line types. In the next session, in part two, I'll re be reviewing special characters. Something to look forward to. Thank you.